Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the end of the show. And as you know, at the very end of the ICF summit, we have the big show, the announcement of the Intelligent Community of the Year. So welcome to the 2020 Intelligent Community of the Year Awards program and announcement. I'm Lou Zaccarella, and I wanted to once again, welcome everyone from around the world who's tuned in to watch this announcement. Now, obviously this is a little weird this year. We're not together, we're not having dinner, we're not having laughs, we're not having drinks, we're not cheering and going crazy like we usually do, but that's, you know, that's the way it is. It is, it is weird, but I wanna uh, thank the city of Mitaka, Japan. Uh, they sent me this beautiful tie. And as you know, uh, the tradition that we have, John, Robert, and Matt and I, we only wear ties from former intelligent communities of the year. So I wanna thank Mitaka. This was actually part of a city of Mitaka COVID outfit. So they sent me a tie and uh, underwear, which I'm wearing because I'm home recording this and you'll only see me from the top up. That's the way it is um, in the age of COVID. I wanna thank, first of all, the city of Dublin, Ohio, and the ICF Institute for their hosting us this year. I can't think of any city that is more appropriate to have hosted this because they were thinking about broadband and their community long before uh, this moment. So once again, I wanna reach out to the city of Dublin, Ohio, all the people uh, in that local government, all of the people in the community uh, for allowing us to do this. You know, every year we say the same thing, that the real winner of the Intelligent Community of the Year Award are the top seven. And this year, probably more than ever, we demonstrated that and proved that it's true. Uh, you've been seeing them over the last eight days. You saw the conversations with each of those cities. And many of them are multiple time top seven, which means they're making progress year after year after year on behalf of their citizens, their economy, and their future. Um, they are just great places, great places to live, and it's where the world is headed. And so we salute them. And on behalf of the Intelligent Community Forum, our institutes, our ICF nations, and everybody involved with this movement, including former Intelligent Communities of the Year, we say congratulations once again. What we'd like to do now is just to recap and to show you one more time this year's Top seven. Adelaide, South Australia, Australia, is a compact city of 24,000 people at the centre of a metropolitan region of 1.3 million. It has been ranked one of the world's most livable cities. Adelaide's universities have established multiple research parks while the city has focused on developing an innovation economy supported by 10 gigabits per second connectivity to hundreds of businesses. After three straight appearances on the Smart 21 list, Adelaide is a top seven intelligent community for the first time. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada returns to the top seven list after achieving the honor in 2018. A city of 520,000, traditionally known as Steel Town, Hamilton launched its own fibre network and is embracing the opportunities offered by innovative colleges and universities and the cultural diversity that comes from Canada's third largest foreign born population. This former industrial city is cleaning up the pollution of an industrial past and building a strong foundation for inclusive prosperity. 260 kilometers southwest of Hamilton and across the border is Hudson, Ohio, USA, a town of 22,000. Lying midway between industrial cities Cleveland and Akron, Hudson has a bustling economy with companies such as Goodyear, Lockheed Martin and J.P. Morgan Chase. With its cutting-edge Velocity broadband network, Hudson businesses continue to expand, while its public sector, which has stewardship over one of Ohio's most beautiful historic downtowns, works in partnership with them 
to add another award-winning community to the Intelligent Ohio Initiative. Back to Canada, where Markham, Ontario appears on the list for the first time. A mid-sized city of 354,000, Markham embraces the ICF method and has created a bustling tech centre with 1,000 high-tech and life science companies. It is a leader in digital initiatives for education and engagement and has completed next generation upgrades to municipal services. This intelligent community has emerged as a regional leader, sharing what it has learned at events across Canada. Australia's second entry to this year's top seven is Sunshine Coast Queensland, which makes the list for the second straight year. This city of nearly 300,000 people met the challenges of a declining tourism economy and high unemployment with innovative solutions to create a high quality of life for its citizens. It connected its citizens with the Speed It Up campaign, promoting the benefits of high-speed internet access and digital literacy. And after building a 15 megawatt solar farm, it became Australia's first local government to offset 100% of its electricity consumption across all of its facilities and operations. We now go to Europe, where after six years, Tallinn, Estonia makes its sixth appearance as a top seven community. A legendary city of 400,000, Tallinn rose to prosperity by capitalizing on national spending on IT industry growth education and entrepreneurship. The city's education and business partners launched multiple incubators targeting profitable areas such as creative services, biotech, mechatronics and ICT. With 23 universities and technical schools, Tallinn has all the resources for a knowledge economy and is focused on expanding access, attracting more talent and building international markets. Its transformation from post-Soviet poverty to leadership in cybersecurity has been nothing short of breathtaking. This year's final top seven intelligent community is also from the state of Ohio and also joins the top seven list for the second time. The 40,000 people of Westerville, Ohio, USA have built its success from the ground up its municipally owned electric and water systems have been joined by a fiber network delivering 100 gigabits per second of connectivity to city properties, private businesses, schools and research institutes. A municipally owned data center gives this small city a big competitive edge when it comes to business attraction and retention. With a well-educated workforce, Westerville proves that a small city can leverage technology to grow its economy, engage its people and strengthen the culture that makes it an outstanding place to live, work and build a future. Congratulations to the top seven intelligent communities of 2020 from the founders of the Forum, our institutes, national affiliates and colleagues around the globe. One more salute that we'd like to make, and that would be Tao Yen. Tao Yen was one of the top seven last year and broke away from the pack to be named Intelligent Community of the Year after 11 years of trying in our program and again, achieving year after year after year. And when they were named, they did exactly what we thought they would do. They became outstanding representatives of the intelligent community movement for every community in the world and many communities in their nation of Taiwan, throughout Asia, and in other parts of the world, have been studying them and learning from them this year. I want to congratulate once again Mayor Cheng and his very, very capable team uh, in Tao Yen. Uh, here's some information that you may not know. Mayor Cheng has been mayor of Tao Yen since Christmas Day in 2014. Last year, he said he received a big gift, not at Christmas, but he has been taking that gift and again, demonstrating to the world why Tao Yen is world-class and is the leader of the intelligent community movement until a few minutes from now. 
We also want to thank another person in Taiwan, Madam Tsai, the president of the nation. She came uh, to Taoyuan when we named our top seven of this year, and we thank her very much for being a part of our program. It's obvious to us, as it is to the rest of the world, that she is a great leader of a free and prosperous nation, and that she believes very strongly in the intelligent community movement, because in Taiwan, that kind of leadership and the intelligent community movement is also graced at the top by the thinking of the president. And so once again, we really wanna thank her uh, for being a part of the ICF. Now, uh, as we do each year before uh, we hand off the crown, we bring someone from uh, the reigning intelligent community of the year here to say their final goodbye. And I'd like to welcome Mayor Chen for Taoyuan City. Uh, and uh, he has come to say a few words for us. 大家好,我是桃園市市長鄭文燦。桃園在2019年6月榮獲ICF年度智慧城市首獎。去年11月曾經邀請ICF專家來台灣進行航空城工作坊 與會人數超過四百人，我們也邀請來訪的貴賓參觀桃園燈會，直接體驗桃園的觀光文化以及智慧城市的發展，共同見證台灣防疫工作的成功。隨著疫情的擴散，更加驗證智慧城市建設的重
to develop an integrated airport industrial park planning and promote the Asia Silicon Valley project, Taoyuan shared smart technology services to show the complete layout of airport economics. Taoyuan also hosted the 2020 ICF Top 7 International Smart City Forum, inviting international smart cities to exchange close cooperation between government and industry. Taoyuan has developed innovative application services through 5G, Internet of Things, and big data technologies. We also shared our smart city achievements and energy to the world. The forum invited representatives from 14 different cities and more than 400 attendees to share smart city application solutions and participate in 24 matchmaking meetings. The forum also communicated with other cities through video conference. It breaks through the limits and reflects the true meaning of smart cities. The forum also exhibited five themed booths to convey the energy of our smart industry. The content of the exhibition covered industries in the fields of telecommunications, Internet of Things, smart buildings, smart grids, etc., and aimed to open exchanges and cooperation between domestic industries and international cities. The representatives were invited to visit local technology companies, showing the advantages of Taiwan's industry and making Taiwan shine on the international stage and a market. The representatives also had a trip to Taoyuan local cultural visits and participated in important folk celebrations to showcase Taiwan's unique cultural charm in technology and humanities. The driving force for the progress of smart cities comes from the needs of citizens. By solving citizens' problems through information and communication technologies, Taoyuan has developed its own intelligent features of Smart City. Taoyuan has continued to combine the advantages of the local industry to implement 10 major themes, including energy sustainability, green transportation, smart education, and so on. Technology and local industries complement each other to bring out the benefits of 1 plus 1 is greater than 2. Let the energy of technology radiate from Taoyuan to Taiwan and even the world We'd like to say that Taoyuan can help and Taiwan can help. With the cooperation of the central and local governments, Taoyuan City promotes various infrastructure construction and industrial transformation and uses technology to create sensible services. Taoyuan City uses big data analysis to solve and discover problems. At present, Taoyuan City has put forward plans for an Asia Silicon Valley and Taoyuan Aerotropolis project. In the future, it will promote a model city of smart eco-logistics. Taoyuan City uses the superior resources of smart cities to build an application service platform. Through the platform, manufacturers standardize and modularize solutions to meet customer needs. In addition, the intelligent platform can also collect data for analysis and characterization so that the demand side can quickly obtain solutions. As a channel for media introduction, the platform will be quickly imported into different places to provide high-quality heterogeneous platform integration services. The application service platform can also provide evaluation and analysis from expert consultants, offer advice to both the supply and demand sides, solve the integration bottleneck, and reduce the introduction costs to enhance the benefits of both parties. It can export smart service solutions for local industries, making the platform an important link between Taiwan and international markets. Taoyuan enables Taiwan's local smart technology to connect with the world. We will continue to contribute to the sustainable development of smart cities, making Taoyuan the strongest support for intelligent community 
We make Taoyuan a platform for connecting Taiwan and the world. Choosing Taoyuan is a rising trend. Smart Taoyuan, charming city. Taoyuan take off, Taiwan forward. Well, now we're at that moment. It's time to find Taoyuan's successor. Of course, there are seven candidates. To do that, I want to bring up someone who represents a two-time top seven intelligent community and a little bit more. We've given out three Lifetime Achievement Awards at ICF, and this gentleman was a recipient of one of them. Perhaps as much as any person in the world, he took the ICF method and the ideas of the intelligent community movement from all of you and implemented them in a community that by my standards is the Maserati of communities. Like a great artist, he took all of the ideas that we had inside our movement and put them to work in this extraordinary city, and it's a city that we've been in the last couple of days. You've met him before probably, and we really wanted to honor him tonight and to let him name the Intelligent Community of the Year. So it's my pleasure to welcome my friend, Mr. Dana McDaniel, the city manager for the city of Dublin, Ohio. Thank you, Lou. I'm extremely honored and humbled to be asked to announce this year's Intelligent Community of the Year for 2020. Thank you, Robert, John, and Lou, for this opportunity. It means more to me than you can imagine. I thank the three of you uh, for all you do to mentor, coach, and teach all of us to be more intelligent communities. Your passion, your knowledge, advice, the counsel you give us is probably more meaningful than you realize, and it makes a difference for millions of people around the world. I wish we were together this year as originally planned to host this year's summit and to make this announcement and celebrate together here in Dublin, Ohio, USA. Unfortunately, as you know, we couldn't do that, but we're equally proud to have been a part of putting this year's online summit together. I wanna thank our team here in Dublin, Ohio, and I wanna thank the ICF team for our partnership in putting this summit together. I hope everyone got as much out of this summit as I did. It was truly a terrific summit and a lot, a lot, uh, a lot to learn and a lot to share. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to thank all the communities across the world who strive to be better, who support and take part in the intelligent community movement. Congratulations to all the smart 21 communities out there this year. Thank you to all the top seven communities who worked even harder and shared their stories during this year's summit. Now it's that time. It's that time to finally announce the 2020 Intelligent Community of the Year. And here we go. And I have the envelope. Ah, okay. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, we shared a uh, top seven status together in 2010. I'm pleased to announce again, the 2020 Intelligent Community of the Year, Talene Estonia. Congratulations, our friends in Talene. Great job. After six times in the top seven, Tallinn becomes Intelligent Community of the Year. Persistence pays off, and there are a few places on earth more persistent than this place. Tallinn is the capital of Estonia, a great and free nation on the Baltic Sea. It has more startups than any other capital of Europe. It is among the five cleanest cities on planet Earth. Because of its planning, 99.2% of its children were able to participate in distance learning this year. Tallinn likes to say about any problem, if there's a problem, we fix it. Accepting for Tallinn is Mr. T. Tarek, Chairman of the Tallinn's City Council. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Honorable members of uh, Intelligent Community Forum, dear top seven, ladies and gentlemen, Tallinn is deeply honored to receive this outstanding title and Intelligent Community Award. On one hand, it is of course a great pleasure and surprise, but uh, on the other hand, we have been working hard for this. And uh, as a person who has lived in Tallinn and worked here for so many years and seen the process and the progress, I can see that uh, this community deserves it. It's really a best place in the world. 
Our years of work and improving results have brought us the winning title. But we will not stop here, as rapidly changing times uh, are bringing the new challenges for us every day. I'm really glad to sense the cohesion of our community on the way to become even stronger and more intelligent every day. International cooperation is as important for us. Organizations like ICF and the other created networks are supporting the exchange of best practices. The model of intelligent community is a good example for all the cities and regions willing to become even smarter. I would sincerely like to thank all the members of our community who have been working on this for decades. I'm once more very glad to receive this award on Challenge's behalf and ready to share the experiences with everybody. Thank you. Well, congratulations once again, Teed, and congratulations to the nation of Estonia and the city of Tallinn. After several tries, you win the prize. Now, um, you would also win this if we were together. Uh, unfortunately, we're not, and I will hang on to it for you uh, for well, a couple of hours, and then I'm going to drink it on your behalf. But um, we hope to see you soon in the future. Congratulations again. We know, like Tao Yen, that you will be an outstanding representative of the intelligent community movement. You can meet Tallinn in British Columbia. Our Smart 21 announcement is coming in February in the city of Maple Ridge and the township of Langley in beautiful British Columbia. For more information on that, go to intelligentcommunity.org. We hope to see you there. We hope as well that you will get on the path to becoming an intelligent community if you're not already. On behalf of the founders of the intelligent community, John Young, Robert Bell, and myself, our producer of this conference, Matt Owen, our ICF institutes in Taiwan, in Ohio, our ICF nations in Canada, in Taiwan, and for the 200 communities around the world that have achieved intelligent community status Thank you for being a part of this event. Congratulations once again to Tallinn, Estonia. And no matter where you are, where you live, how big, how small, remember this one true thing. There really is no place like home. Take care, everybody. Be safe.